All right, so the next one is LDA, which is lithium aluminum Oh, sorry. It should be lithium di isopropyl amide. Okay, so this is LDA and you have a nitrogen since you have an amide. They have two isopropyl groups attached and it has a lithium attached. Now you all know lithium acts as a counterion. So this nitrogen has to have a negative charge. If it wants the negative charge, it has to have two additional lone pairs. So you have one there and one there. That's why you have that negative charge and that's why you need the counter ion of lithium. All right, this is also a very, very, very good base and it's huge because it's bulky. So it's a huge but strong base. Know these characteristics because when you learn chapter nine, you're gonna have to know why you have to use just huge or why you have to use strong at base versus weak base. So make sure you know this characteristic, remember for the exam. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.